Hello, I am Trey Sanchez and welcome to LUTV Sports Break. The Lamar Women's Basketball Summer Camps are around the corner. The Lady Cards will be hosting three camps in total throughout the summer, open to the youth and the local community. I had the chance to travel to the Montaigne Center to find out more. Summer's approaching and so are Cardinal Camps. The Lady Cards understand the importance of winning and connecting to the community. So this is actually our first year running our camp. Um, we tried to run it when Coach Aqua Franklin first got here, but uh, COVID happened and so they had to cancel. So this is actually the first year under Coach Aqua's tenure that we'll be having a camp. Just trying to interact with the community. I think that was a big reason why I wanted to start it here or get it going, just to be able to interact with the youth in the community, get to obviously increase fan support through whoever comes to the camp, obviously trying to keep them coming, coming back and forth to the games. I know that this area supports basketball like no other. And we just got to get people interested here. So starting off with the kids, you know, in and out of Lamar, seeing it, seeing the history on the wall or whatever. I think that's the uh, beautiful uh, matchup. So that's that's one of our goals. Although bringing Lamar and the city of Beaumont together is important, the main focus are the kids. Um, what Alexis was able to do uh, with her platform being from Beaumont and then going to LSU and helping them win a national championship, her story is crazy. And I think our kids here at Lamar can provide them with that same kind of either emotional platform, physical platform, or basketball platform so that they can have some mentors to follow and some, some strong young women to look up to. So I think it'll be fun to get some kids from Southeast Texas in here and teach them the game, but also teach them how to be great young women. It's, we're going to have fun, you know what I mean? Don't get it wrong but you're gonna be taught how to work. So when you leave the camp, well then now I know the level, I know what to do. The Southland Student Athlete of the Year is hoping that she can make an impact, not just for her team, but for the next generation. The biggest thing is I hope I help other people other than myself. Like I want people to be more, more aware of the game and just how positive it can be. Trey Sanchez, LUTV News, Lamar University. The summer camps begin June 17th and conclude August 4th. Registration is open to sign up now. Let's go from the hardwood to the gridiron. Set your calendars. August 28th is fast approaching for Cardinals football's first game. Big Red spring game is this Friday. The Redbirds have been buzzing all spring. And if you've been anticipating the chance to see this, the new direction the cards are headed, the wait is almost over. The quarterback race has been exciting to see unfold. And the same could be said for many positions across the depth chart as coach Peter Rosamondo is set to put his first team out on the field. You can expect to see this team flying all around the field and putting up numbers on the new and improved scoreboard at Provost Humphrey Stadium. The spring game will be held at 6 p.m. Don't miss out on the first chance to see this new team in action. The NFL Draft is tomorrow. After a full, long offseason full of speculation, football fans are on the edge of their seats to see how the draft will unfold for their favorite teams. For some, the draft is a chance to amplify their roster. For others, they may be looking for their franchise guy. LUTV sports anchor Brett Strahan gives insight on how draft day could be a game changer. Welcome to Media Timeout where we take a break away from the action to give you our reactions about what's going on in the world of sports. I'm Brett Strahan. Hiring head coach D'Amico Ryans and making off-season moves, the Houston Texans front office is making sweeping changes to repair their image and fan relations. Will it matter, though, if they don't hit pay dirt on draft night? For fans, the draft should be an exciting time. The team holds the number 2 and 12 overall picks, Yet there's been a growing amount of stress among the fan base. Rumors are circulating that general manager Nick Casario may not take a quarterback with the second overall pick. Notable voices such as Peter King have suggested that if Casario doesn't love a quarterback at two, he's not going to force it. And word on the street is that if the Carolina Panthers take Bryce Young, Houston does not love Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud. Watching QB Davis Mills lollipop his way to the worst completion percentage in the league was not pretty. It was problematic. But this is smokescreen season. Most information put out by teams is misinformation. But if this isn't a bluff, all hope is not lost. Houston could pick the best edge rusher in recent memory in Will Anderson, and they have the ammo to trade back up for Will Levis or Anthony Richardson. It's not the route I would go, but hey, I'm just a guy who talks on TV. Thank you for joining us on LUTV Sports Media Timeout. 
To see more content from LUTV, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Thank you for tuning into LUTV Sports Break this semester, where we keep you in the game for every game. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more Lamar University sports. See you in fall 2023.